Hi, my name is Harry and I'm here to help. If you're interested in clear and concise beginners tutorials, I'd like to recommend my classes on Skillshare. My recent class, Create a 3D Vaporwave Animation, received staff pick from the Skillshare team. Grab a free month of premium Skillshare membership using the link in the description below and watch my course and thousands of others for free. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the simple, yet not particularly obvious process of enabling shadow caustics within Blender. Caustics are a refractive effect that bend the light passing through an object into focused beams. This is most obvious in the shadows of glass objects or water. We'll be using this little mushroom terrarium I created as an example. However, this process will work with any refractive object. To start with, make sure you have at least these three objects in your scene. A light, like this sun here, a refractive object, like this glass dome, and a surface for the caustic shadows to cast onto, like this curved plane background. We'll notice that the shadow being cast by the glass dome is quite dark, and doesn't seem to match the clear glass that is creating it. This is because we haven't enabled our shadow caustics yet. As I alluded to previously with the required objects, this is a multi-part process. All of these requirements must be met before our shadow caustics will work. First, we need to go to our world settings and enable caustics globally. So we'll go over here to the world properties tab, this little red globe. We'll go down to the settings here, twirl open surface, and then make sure you check shadow caustics. As I mentioned before, we won't notice any change in this until we've met all of the different requirements. So by checking this box, we won't actually see anything change yet. With that done, now we need to tell our light to cast shadow caustics. So with our light selected, in this case our sun, we'll go over here to the object data properties, select this little green light bulb, and then we're just gonna check on the box here, shadow caustics. Again, we'll notice nothing changes, the render updates, but our shadow is still dark. Now select your refractive object, in my case, this glass dome, and enable its ability to cast caustic shadows. So to do this, we're gonna go to the object properties, so this little orange box here, with the glass dome selected in my case. We're gonna go down to the shading tab, twirl that open, then we're gonna scroll down to caustics, and then we want to make sure that this casts caustic shadows. Again, it'll update, nothing has happened yet because we haven't done the last step. Lastly, we need to tell our floor object to receive these caustic shadows. So with the floor selected, I'm gonna go over here to the object properties again, go down to the shading, open up caustics, and now I need to check on Receive Caustic Shadows. And finally, just like a four-part magic trick, we have our caustic shadows for our glass dome. We can see the before and after just by clicking the Receive Shadow Caustics on and off. So we turn this on and off, we can see the massive difference we're getting now in the type of shadow that our glass is casting. The light passing through our glass dome is now being correctly focused inside the shadows. Don't forget to grab your free month of premium Skillshare membership in the description below. You'll get to watch my staff pick Vaporwave class and thousands of others completely free. Please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.